Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bookish Brits. It's me, Fiona, and I'm here today to do a book tag. I've not done a book tag for a little while on Bookish Brits, so I thought I'd do quite a challenging one for me, and that is the old books tag, which was made by Books into Pieces. So I will leave a link to the original down below, so go and check that out. I don't own a lot of old books, so this was kind of a challenge for me to go through my books and actually see what I had. Question one. Have you ever bought a book that was made before you were born? And that's the physical book, not the actual physical, not the actual text. Um, safe to say the answer to that is no, I have not. I don't own a lot of old books. I had a good route through my books and none of them are that old. Question two. Which book on your shelves takes place in the oldest time period or the earliest time period, which however you want to phrase it. Um, that would be Wolf Brother by Michelle Paver. It's set thousands and thousands of years ago in like a stone age, basically. Um, it does actually say on the back thousands of years ago. So yeah, I loved this series growing up and I still never finished it. Question three. Have you got a book that was published in the year you were born? Now I thought I might have some that were quite close, but it turns out they were not published the years I thought they were. So the closest I've got is Fushigi Yugi, which was published in 1992. So this book is three years younger than me. Question four. Which book have you had on your shelves the longest? Considering I don't have a lot of my really old books from when I was a child, they're either in my parents' loft under my old bed or non-existent anymore. Um, we got rid of a lot because there was three kids, so we didn't keep a lot of books. Um, but it would probably have to be Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This was published in 1997. I think I either got it in 98 or 99. Not sure. Might have been 99. But basically I've had it for a long time. Question 5. Which book have you had the longest but never read? I didn't really have a lot of unread books until I started my job. So two and a half years ago, I picked up Dearly Departed by Aaliyah Habel, and I still have not read it. Yep. I will maybe one day read it. I don't know. Question six. What's the oldest book you own? So basically, Harry Potter again, 1997. But then again, I could also use the answer from question three, because I think the edition I have of Fushigi Yugi is the 1992 publication. Um, let me check. Oh no, 2005. So yeah, Harry Potter still. Question seven. Which book do you have that was written the longest time ago? That would be Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, which was published in 1813. Definitely the oldest published text I own by a long shot. So as you may be able to tell, this tag was pretty hard. I had to do a lot of rooting through books and it made me realize that a lot of my books are not as old as I thought they were. I don't have that many from when I was a younger child, but the ones I do, I thought were published years and years before they're actually published. So it's a strange one. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my tag today. Go and check out the original. It's a lot of fun. And feel free to do this tag too. I'm not tagging anyone specifically because it, everyone should do the tags. Tags are fun. Yes, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye.